Okay. Good luck yeah. there. So we're here. We're here in the water cube. Uh, so, so who are you? Justin Bisick. Cool. Ben Renal Trister. And Roger Norton. Great. So the Wheeler for Amazing Business Concept Competition just happened. The winners are out there. It's been amazing. But I want to take you behind the scenes to the people who actually helped me make it happen. I have entered business plan competitions. I've won business plan competitions, but I thought the real value is getting other people awakened to the wonder of entrepreneurship, especially in the water industry, and get them to win business plan competitions. Unfortunately, I sold this idea very well to the Dutch consulate, and I went home and told these two guys, I think they think I've done it before. <laughs> I have not. Oh yeah, I like that. You said that in front of the Prince of Orange as well, didn't you, on stage. That was good. But it was good. It's all good. It went well. Yeah, it was call amazing. It's a Z, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I just spew stuff. Um, but um, we made it happen. We made it happen on passion and fumes and the networks of these three people and very helpful this. So what was involved? I mean, you know, what sort of backing did you get from the from the Dutch? And... We had prize money um, yeah. sponsored by the Dutch government, 25,000 euros in all. And they gave us access to the bid network, the business and development network as well. But by the time that that happened, we, between the lot of us and resources that we either borrowed legitimately or just hacked into, have compiled a proposal on the background, the jury, the panelists, the things that you need to run up the background of a business plan, the things that you need to tell the entrants that were going to enter, the support that you need in order to make it happen. We had all of that sorted just by big borrowing, stealing and, and reading books and asking people for yeah. advice. Yeah. And just to add to that, um, what you find is that there are people out there who, like ourselves, have been through certain learning curves and actually understand what is required to run and launch a business plan competition. I myself also have been through business plan competitions and done so successfully. But what frustrates me is that you get a lot of guys that go through certain learning curves and currently in South Africa you have a massive chasm between ideas and commercialization of those ideas. And what I'd like to encourage is just plowing back. So people like ourselves who are maybe only be on a certain stage of that kind of pipeline into achieving their own entrepreneurial endeavors and success is to actually say, well, you know, guys, I'm already here. I might be five steps ahead of you. But yeah, these are the last four steps I took to try and facilitate this kind of progression of guys with a new idea that have absolutely no idea what to do with it. So from our side, we took tangible value and tangible learning curves that we have been through and said, well, these are what we went through. This is what is required. Let's collectively make it happen from our collective yeah. understanding of what needs to happen. Yeah. Well, Justin, I think it goes one step further than that because it's not just down to our experiences and what we can actually bring, but it's also the people who've, who've helped us and the people, the contacts and, and, and the connections that we have and um, leveraging those to be able to apply them for yeah. new, new projects and, and apply that experience to, I think, to, so to be a sort of channel between the more experienced people for this in, in the sort of application Absolutely. in this business plan and, and that's where the real value comes. Well, we're really passionate about the youth of South Africa and the youth of the world and we think entrepreneurs really have the secret to making change happen. You know, it's not the big policy makers, it's the people on the ground and we want to help those guys like the real professionals have helped us, you know. We want to get it going and, yeah. and do it in a fun and positive way. I, I, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm from ACFA and we, we've, I mean, we've been backed by the Dutch as well so it's like, but I, I, there was no talk today about how any of these projects are going to share their progress from now on. Mm -hmm. Have you had a? Have you thought about that? Have, have, you know, are they going to share knowledge between themselves outside, or is it going to be closed? It's open to whatever they choose to do it. The way that they were coached, where they linked up with at least one company, and I think in most cases it was a Dutch company. But we're also it's going through the WaterNetwork.co.za website, and any all of the entrants are going up on that website um, if they want to. And they were building with the Dutch companies and the South African companies, the professionals on both sides. And really making it a specialized, special solution for those guys. How do they grow? I'm sure they will talk to each other. And in future, we will learn from this and see, do we need a community going between those? Because I think that network is really important to get them to learn from each other. But it, it depends on where they are in their development. So you have their professionals, their companies that they've partnered up with, that's already in place, that partnership is there. And then whatever partnerships they want to add. It's, it's also about providing a platform where you can use the catalyst of Heineken to kind of foster those relationships and actually help <laughs> build those, those sort of so that's, that's known connections with people. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, 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 and it's gross, grossly <laughs> unattractive. All great ideas start 
when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, write, don't write that one down. <laughs> yeah. But just further to add on the power of networks, I mean, it really is a testament as to how powerful networks are. I mean, from myself, mine is more biotech and entrepreneurship and innovation. Roger comes from IT and Bernal from Water. And what we really did was we promoted this platform through our networks, and that's where we got a lot of the media coverage, or not a lot of the media coverage, but a lot of the applicants. And it just shows you that people who are in particular um, positions or who have already kind of built up these networks, because networks take time, but everyone with a strong network really should try and actively promote the network with, for others to leverage off. And that's what we're also hoping to do, is let other people take advantage of the networks that we've been fortunate enough. And I do say fortunate because it's a privilege, not a right. We've really been fortunate enough to develop these networks, and we love it for other people to be able to leverage that. Great. Well, thank you, guys. That was brilliant. Thanks. Thank you so much. Have a good